Oh, that was an aggressive take. Vicious. And a nice fish too. All right. Ugh, there we go. Mm. That's a nice fish. Lift to the head and into the net. There we go. I am out on the gunpowder. Um, I am in my Ravens gear because it is the home opener for the Ravens today. Uh, I get to go to the game. I get to see one of my previous basketball players by the name of Josh Miles out of Morgan State. He's going to be playing in the stadium today. So congrats, Josh, on, again, making it to the NFL. We're all really proud of you. But in terms of today, um, I don't really have about two hours to fish. I decided to get up early and get out on the stream just so that I could get some fishing in before I head over to the stadium. So today we're going to use the syndicate as usual. We're then going to have our mop fly and then a sexy wall. The water is low. It's only 28 CFS, so that's super, super low for this stream. Um, but uh, if not, we'll just stick with nymphing and hopefully we get into some fish. So. Thank you as always for tuning back in. Sorry it's been a little bit in terms of spread out videos, but uh, the school year is back in session, so time is short. So let's get to fishing. There we go. Oh, didn't take too long. Stuck a wild brown, small but gorgeous fish. So getting up at five o'clock, tying up a couple extra mops and hitting the stream is paid off. Gorgeous fish. Back he goes. All right, so he took the, he took the mop fly. That's gonna be probably the fly of choice for a lot of these fish. Um, for whatever reason in the fall, I feel like they get keyed in, um, they get keyed into that mop. So I expect today we'll probably stick, maybe especially that quick, maybe a half dozen fish and probably a good chunk of them are gonna be ticking the bottom with the mop. So we'll see if that theory proves to be right, but for now, one fish pretty quick into the trip. Oh, that was a nice fish. Turned him, but missed him. Oh, he broke me off. That's why. Bad set. Or excuse me, a bad tie. Yikes. I only tied two of them, so let's hope that uh, the next one I tie a little bit better onto the uh, the rig. Otherwise, we're going to be fresh out of mops here today. I, I should have tied three. So let's tie this bad boy on and keep it from getting wasted so we moved up to the next deep hole again just looking for nymphable water there's a take Let's see if he gives us another go or a friend of his we'll take any uh, but just looking for the you know the classic riffles and runs oh man that one came all the way out from the other side of the stream too quick on the hook set got only myself to blame for that that was a nice fish i mean he literally came out from the rock on the other side of the stream just to give you perspective on traveling probably a dozen feet to get a meal I and mean, it's just such a cool thing to watch that streak of gold or butter come out and eat Another take, another miss. They're definitely eating. No question about that. But I'm definitely missing. So we're gonna get a good drift out of this one into a nice deep little pocket. Let's 
try it again. Put it on the top side of this deep channel. There we go. There we go. All right. So we're definitely connecting. Now we just got to keep it consistent. Fish are getting pretty good looking here on the gunpowder. They're building up those fall colors and they're eating, gorging as they're trying to get ready for the spawn. So it's a fun time of year. You know, if you can get out in September through October, I mean, there's, there's really a lot of fish to be had and typically aggressive, hungry fish as well. So the thing about, you know, I would say October through November and, um, you know, if you, if you don't already watch, you know, Hardman fishing adventures, another really great YouTuber, it's got good content, check him out. But he just did a video kind of highlighting the idea of how we need to protect, you know, this, uh, this precious resource and, you know, Browns are going to start their reds here pretty soon from you know, October through November, essentially, probably a month, month and a half of time. So if you can get out and fish in these streams before they start that, <clears throat> you know, all the better for you. So get out and hit the stream. All right, so I'm fishing a spot that I've had some success in the past in. And actually the last time I was here, I caught, uh, I want to say like five or six fish out of this hole. But these are finicky fish. They, um, they get a lot of pressure. It is super clear. So it's tough to fool them. Because they can see you. They can see any imperfection in the drift, your cast. They're just uh, not very eager to take. So we're going to try to fool one. See what happens. There we go. That was a light take. I didn't even feel him. Just saw the line twitch. So I got him wrapped around a little bit. There we go. Now we can let you go, bub. Alright, so another pretty small but nice brownie send him back that's three in about half hour you know with about two hours to fish hopefully we can make it a dozen but we'll we'll have to wait and see patiently oh boy just moved a nice brown we came out and took a look but that was the extent of our experience so coming up on a nice stretch of water I've got structure I've got fast water I've got a little deep water you know there's gonna be fish holding in here it's just a matter of like always getting one to take coming up on the next little hole of uh, good runs I'm gonna pop one in over here on the far side Oh, and down he goes into the next hole. He really tried hard to get back up in here, too. That was pretty cool. Well, unfortunately, we missed the fish, but those things happen. Cast up into the next. Oh, that was an aggressive take. Vicious. And a nice fish, too. Good colors. Sizable. All right, Ugh, there we go. Mm. Not huge, but a good fish for the gunpowder. I mean, I'll take a 10 inch fish. 
Oh, he came out just like some of the other ones I've missed today. Look at the color, it's just super dark. It's almost black. You know, on top, you can't see those fish as they're in the water, really. You can kind of just see a flash of their belly. So they're pretty cool. But um, he's been, he just took like some of the other ones today where they come all the way from across the stream and take it. And uh, you get this, you get the take visually. It's been really cool to see, but unfortunately today I've had a lot of missed hook sets. So thankfully that one was not one of them. All right. Let's get this thing set back up. There we go. We're unraveled, ready to fish. Ooh. Another nice fish. Bop is the ticket, just like I said. These barbless hooks, they basically just fall right out. So I believe that's fish number five. Getting that yellow on the bottom. But five fish to hand in 45 minutes, we'll say. It's a very productive day. I mean, I had a, I'll be honest, I had a tough time sleeping last night because all I could think about was the idea that I was going to be able to go to a game today and I was going to have the chance to chase wild browns, which has been, unfortunately for me, too long. It's been about three weeks. And the last time I went, Oh, it did not go well. The last time I fished, I caught two fish, one wild, one stocked. I was up in PA, and the only real thing that I took out of that experience was a $150, $152, excuse me, uh, speeding ticket. So the Commonwealth has certainly gotten my money's worth in terms of me traveling into PA. So it was nice to stay in Maryland and get into some fish today. Six fish to hand, about an hour in. Got about one more left. So, gotta capitalize before we go and root on the Ravens. So let's head up to the next spot and see how we do. Nice, long, flat pool. This is great dry fly uh, real estate. Whenever people come up here in the uh, spring and summer. Uh, for me, I don't fish a lot of it, to be honest. Um, you know, I find myself liking to, uh, to nymph fish and that water isn't really productive for that, so I tend to shy away. But there were times where I've seen some pretty substantial fish doing some pretty aggressive work in those flats. But for today, we're just gonna keep chasing up here in the, uh, the riffles and hunt for those feeders that are out in the, uh, the feeding lanes. So I have a lot of reasons why I prefer to, uh, to nymph fish and you know one of them is definitely that i have the competitive advantage over these fish and what i mean by that is, is that like if you're in a flat pool like i was talking about back there um which is great for dry fly fishing swinging wets to a degree although most people do that in the riffles too um you know i like the fact that i don't have to be quite as still or that everything needs to be absolutely perfect in order to catch fish so you know i think that ultimately if i can fish these these riffles and if there's a small wake it's not gonna necessarily ruin the entire spot um and in general the fish are typically pretty hungry because they're in these feeding lanes for a reason you know they want the food that's coming down in just sweeping right into their mouth so you know, personally speaking, I'd much rather fish the riffles than chase the opportunistic, uh, you know, dry fly action. There's a time and place for that and it's all pretty cool, but you know, 90% of a fish's diet is gonna be subsurface, um, or at least so they say. So with that said, I chase the 90% and not the 10. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. We gotta keep him down, keep him in the water. So you'll notice I want him upstream on me. Part of the reason why is I'm gonna use the current to bring him right back to me here in a sec. Okay, here we go. Lift of the head and into the net. 
There we go. All right, that's what we're after, boys and girls. That's probably a 13 or 14 inch fish. Nice, healthy, big old brown that the hook just kind of falls right out of. Great colors. The magentas on this fish are just out of this world. So that's going to wrap it up here on the gunpowder. I was uh, thankfully able to land about eight to ten fish somewhere in that range, hooked, you know, probably a half dozen more, but um, very successful day. Not on the streamers, but um, was able to, with about an hour and 15 minutes of uh, nymph fishing with mops and sexy waltzes, able to pick up that uh, about eight fish for you. So great to be back on the stream. Thank you to everybody that's been, again, just watching, commenting, subscribing, um, you know, sharing anything that you've done to help grow the channel. Excuse me. I, uh, I greatly appreciate it. So I look forward to a productive fall. I got a couple really nice trips coming up. So um, tune in as we head to Western Maryland for a camping trip. I get three days out in uh, the Mecca. And I also have a central PA trip coming up here in a couple weeks as well. So I hope uh, you have some things to look forward to uh, yourself with some trips coming up and everybody enjoy the fall. I'll see you on the stream.